So wherever in the past both of us have worked or maybe you have worked, we all just do soft leads, right? That is the trend right now. Soft lead, I think, is being overblown, overused, and companies probably don't even know why that might be a bad idea for them. So we have divided this video into three sections. So we're going to start off by telling you what a soft delete is in case you don't already know about it. Then we're going to move off to discussing the downsides of soft delete. And we can't just introduce you to the problem and not tell you a solution. So we're going to end this video by telling you an alternative to soft delete yes and we always use soft delete as i said initially but then we read an article by brander and then it opened our eyes to so many problems that soft lead brings to our lives and then we read five more articles and came to a conclusion that it's probably a bad idea to use it but first as Pritika just said what a soft lead is so let's cover that so let's say you have to delete something from a table you have two options either you can simply use an sql query and delete that data and once it's deleted it's gone forever there's no coming back but the second option is a soft delete. And soft delete means that in your table, you would have a column, let's say, which would be named deleted at. That's pretty common, right? And usually it would be null by default. So when the column is null, that means the row or that data isn't deleted. But as soon as you delete that data, you give it a timestamp. So let's say today's date and today's time. So that will tell us two things. First of all, if that column is not null, that means that has been the row has been deleted and it will tell us when it was deleted. So one column is telling us two different things, which is very useful. So that is the concept behind soft delete. Now, Kritika here will go ahead and tell you the first disadvantage of this. Okay, so when you use a soft delete, as Pram already said, instead of deleting the data, we just switch a flag, right? Either we switch a flag or we just put a timestamp in a, in a column, right? So now this is what your select statement is gonna look like if you use a soft delete. So while selecting something or while updating, like while using an update all statement in your database, you will have to make sure that you only affect the rows that have a deleted set to null, right? So now this is easy to do in your code I mean, well, I should not say easy, but again, you can take care of it in your code, right? And using using your API calls and everything. But this one time what happened with me was that my marketing department, they asked me for some stats from the database, right? And I was trying to uh, give them what they, they asked me for, but while doing the select and while joining different tables, I forgot to, you know, like have the deleted ad flag set to null. So the information that I gave them is not technically true. It yeah, doesn't... you got the rows that were that were supposed to be deleted, right? Exactly. So it, it's not representing the actual situation, right? Because what I wanted to do was like just select the data that is not deleted. So now, but to do that, I have to rely on my memory, and it's not always the best. Yeah, and it's basically more exceptions in the code, right? Like like you just explained this query. Now, whenever you will be selecting something, you have to add this and delete it at is null, right? And let's say you have 15 different API calls, <laughs> you have to add it 15 different times. And if you miss it once, it's a, it's a complete mess, right? Exactly. So the next problem is that now that you're not using the proper basic delete functionality, you're using a soft delete, the risk with that is that foreign keys would be invalidated. You won't really be using all the SQL features, right? For example, let's have a look at this error. So here, as you can see, when you try to delete a row from the customer table, SQL will throw an error and say, hey, you can't just delete this customer because there's an order invoice table which is referring to the primary key of this table, right? That's basically primary and foreign key concept, right? So your SQL table, will, your SQL will give you an error because you first need to delete all the things that are dependent on that user, right? So you have to delete the orders first, then the invoices, and then you can delete the user. But now that you're using a soft delete, SQL doesn't know about that. SQL doesn't know what a soft delete is, right? So the problem here is that you really have to write queries in a very nice way in handling a lot of exceptions. And you have to make sure you delete all the tables dependent on, let's say, the user table in this case, making your work much difficult, right? And you can't even use the feature like, like cascading delete. Cascading delete is a feature in SQL which allows you to delete the user from the user table and then it will make sure that everything in other tables that were dependent on this user are also deleted, right? Which is a great and powerful feature, but you probably won't be able to use it. And you probably don't even know about it because chances are the companies you're working for also just use the soft delete, right? 
Now, if you can use this feature, you're going to have to kind of emulate this feature manually in your code. So it's going to, if you use JavaScript or not, just speaking from experience, your, your code is le- going to look like a mess. Yeah. And every time you add a new table, you have to make sure that you also add like another check in your code to, to make sure that the data is deleted from that table as well. If it's dependent on, you know, like the main table that you're trying to delete a record from. So again, it's going to be like a callback hell or either like a lot of promise chaining yeah. together and unnecessary work right there are features that we can use which will make our lives easier but we are just not using it because we want to soft delete things exactly and also if you use like orms most of the orms have these uh, cascading already set to true and th- that's a feature that they provide but now <laughs> you cannot make yeah. use of this feature as well yeah let's go on to the third one because i think you have experienced that first time Yes. So now the data protection laws have become so stringent. So the government of different countries, they require you to delete your customer's data if they delete the account, no matter what kind of company you are. But depending on the the country that you're in, you can either keep their data up to like 90 days or one year, something like that. But now this poses a problem because we use soft delete. And the issue is, so now you have to create an individual script to match the, to compare the date when the, the customer deleted their account and then delete all the data they have in different tables, right? So now let's say you deleted the data from nine different tables, but like you missed out that one table that you didn't remember, you didn't add it to your script. Technically, we're breaking the law here. Yeah. Even if you have the script, chances are if you add a new table in the end and you forgot to update the script, and you had 10 tables, but now you have 11, that one table still has some data that is not deleted, right? So these two problems, I think, are really big problems. And what could solve this was the cascade delete that we discussed in the previous point, which again is rendered useless because we're using soft delete, so we can't use that. We're kind of bad mouthing soft delete here, but I realized that soft deletes are like not really that bad because they've saved me a couple of times, like more than a couple of times, I should say. So like in my company that that I used to work for, I used to handle a lot of, you know, tech support tickets, right? So like whenever you have a tech support ticket and like the customer is complaining that, okay, there was an action taken onto their account, but they were not the ones who took this action, right? So maybe their children or someone else took that action, but they don't know about it. And the customer is always right. So you got to have the proof that you can show to them or explain... I mean, you you should be able to explain them the situation, right? Yeah. So since we used to have soft delete, you, we used to use soft delete. So I had all the data in the database that I can check and I could actually check the timestamp when the data was deleted and like also see that the data was actually, the deletion was actually originated by the user, right? And not us. So I had this proof because of soft delete, I was able to prove my case and say that, okay, this happened exactly at this time. I think the real uh, event on that ticket was that you actually got got a call and someone said, hey, there's a device missing from my account. And he said that the device was never added to his account. But then you were able to see in the database that the device was added, but it was also deleted on a certain date, right? And if we would have used the proper delete function, we wouldn't have this data, right? So data is knowledge today. So we ha- you had that data and therefore it was a great side effect. Now that we told you this use case, we're kind of building onto our alternative that we were supposed to discuss with you. Yes. That since data is so important, you cannot afford to delete it all, right? So you need to be able to store it somewhere so that you don't mess up your code. It doesn't complicate your SQL life, but you also have the records for debugging purposes maybe later on. Yes, but there's a very important point. Not all companies need to use a soft lead functionality. Most of the companies that are using soft lead today can just delete uh, things from their database and call it a day. We are now talking about very specific companies that do require old data. Let's say you're a financial company or any company that do need data from the users who have actually deleted their accounts and you're allowed to keep it. Then let's just uh, hear from Kritika what strategy can we use to finally save something that was deleted but not using the soft delete functionality. Yeah, so now what you can do is when you delete the data from your main database or your main tables, you can use the delete command to delete it. And then you can push all this data into a backup table, which you can call a deleted record table, which is like the mostly uh, most common name that people pick. And then in that table, you can tell what was the ID of the resource deleted, right? What was the uh, data 
and you can store this data into a JSON format. And you can also store the table that this data came from. Right, because in the deleted table, you also want to store, hey, this was this row was deleted from the customer table, this row was deleted from the invoice table. So you have all that information into a centralized single table format, right? Now, if, if you ever need to bring out, bring back the, the deleted rows, the deleted, uh, you know, all the data you have, you can still do it. It will be a little harder because now you have to query a different table but most of the companies never end up using this soft deleted table anyways, right? So it's so many advantages, it's bringing us so many advantages. First of all, we don't have to write deleted at is equal to null everywhere in our statements, like the first drawback, we foreign keys will still work. Yeah, right? you could use the cascading, uh, the cascade true functionality exactly. that we talked about. And then also like hard deleting the data from your main database or your main tables due to regulatory requirements becomes easy for you now. Yeah, because now there's just one table with some rows in JSON saved data and JSON format data. And you can just run a query that whenever it's more than one year, just delete it, right? So the query just became so easy. Because before the query has 10 tables that we need to manually make sure we delete. But now we can just run query on the whole table. We don't need to worry about cascading or foreign keys or primary keys, right? Because it's just one table, it's not 10 different tables. So that just makes everyone's lives easier. So now having learned all the disadvantages and also an alternative for soft delete, you can make your own decision, your informed decision, if you need soft delete or not. If you do need it, be wary of all the disadvantages. And if you don't need it, you're better off anyways. Exactly. And we hope you learned something new. We did a lot of research. Thank you, Brander. We learned a lot by reading his article that is linked down in the description below. Thank you, Brander. And we hope you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment down below of if you're using soft leads or not in the company you work for. And also hit the, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you can. And also if you have a better alternative, let us know down in the comment section below. Yes, we would love to hear from you. But until then, 